Well, hey out there, all you viewers, to be named male, eh, being named later, how we doing today? Yeah, it's an early morning video. But still, as you know by that thumbnail and everything else you clicked on, I really want to make sure I'm holding this correctly. Today, we're going to take a look at another offering by Alley Cat called Interrupted. Now, I want to state for the record, this video is either going to get me in a lot of trouble or it's going to prove a point. <laughs> but still, I want everyone to know this is not a bash video. We always say scent is subjective. What may work in your beard doesn't work in mine. What works in mine may not work in yours. Now, let's get all the adulting out of the way, okay? Ellie Cat is owned and operated by that wonderful, insane genius, Gary Lewis. They are based out of Indian Head, Maryland. It is a veteran-owned company, and they are coming up on their one-year anniversary. So... Happy anniversary, G. I know it's a little bit early. I love everything you've done with Alley Cat. I love the new quality of products. I, I, I love what you're doing. Keep rolling with it, bro. Alley Cat is a music-themed, I, I, I hope I'm saying that right, um, men's grooming company. All genres of music play an important part in their scent names and scent profiles. So I think that in itself is different and very, very unique than what is out there on the market currently. Now, if I have the adulting right, that's about 21 bucks, that's about 23. There are some people out there who have affiliate codes, go find them, use those codes, save yourself some cash and help support their channels. That's always a good thing, okay? Helping support your favorite YouTuber. One of the things I seriously, seriously love about Alley Cat's bottles, I hadn't seen anything else like this on the market until he brought it out. If you can see in between there, there's a little window. That shows you how much product is left. There we go, hopefully that glare is showing it to you. You can see how much product is left inside of your bottle, which I think is cool when you're getting the all blacked out bottles. Sometimes I've wondered, I'm like, do I have enough for today? Am I running low? What do I have to do? But still, I like the fact that his bottles come with the orifice reducer. I think that's really cool, and I've gotten into that recently. I mean, God forbid, if you've ever been in the bathroom and you knock one over, you're not going to lose a lot of product, which is a very, very good thing. Now, hopefully this time around, it's going to turn out. Uh, what do we have there? Tech freeze frame. There's the ingredients on the oil. And I love that QR code. Scan that. It brings you right to Alley Cat's web store, so you can reorder your favorite oil. <sighs> Now, hopefully that'll turn out on the butter. Take a freeze frame. There you go. Okay, now like I said, that's the adulting part out of the way. I mentioned before in a previous video, and I, I, I think it was with Jukebox, okay? So, that's what the butter normally looks like when I get it. Yeah, I've used it a couple times. I know, butter nipple, right? This was one of these rare ones that I broke my own rules and I ordered during a summer month. So the butter showed up a soupy mess. I could do this, and when I heard the sloshing inside the butter, I went, fuck. Inside the freezer it went. Well, to me, I don't know if you can see it too well. It, it really changed the consistency. I mean, it still works incredible in my beard. Let's not get that crossed. It still works phenomenal. All right? It still works... Ooh, sorry. It still works like, um, see, the jukebox one I just showed you did, but it looks completely different in texture and everything else. I seriously threw it in the freezer for about four hours, took it out, let it thaw at room temperature, took a toothpick and stirred it around and let it sit for about two days before I even played with it. Now... The scent profile on this, and this should be phenomenal, and this is why I grabbed it. But I should have paid attention to something else. Anybody shocked? Camera dump. Anybody shocked? <coughs> I swear to God, when I get that new camera, I'm filming the destruction of this one off of space style, but still. All right, like I said, blueberry vanilla tobacco. Three things I love, three things I would run to in any scent profile whatsoever and grab. But there was a fourth thing that I didn't know about. And that's time. Time does not work well in my beard. I don't know what it is about time. I first ran into it with a different company that made a scent profile that basically said F in a year. 
great scent profile on paper, put it in the beard. I went, nope, 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 nope. So, the time throws everything off for me. And that's why I say scents are subjective. It's not a bad thing. I know there's going to be drama queens out there running and saying, I am attacking Alley Cat. I'm bashing Gary Lewis. I'm not. Amazing scent profile right there. But the addition of the time, I can't use it. I just, I can't. I've tried. I've tried a lot. All right. I, I, I don't know if you can see in there. I have used quite a bit of this. Like seriously, in here, I get the vanilla and the blueberry and uh, the wisp of that tobacco. All right. <clears throat> There's some days when I put it in, it reminds me of Vicks Vapor Rub. That, that's the only way I can put it. You know, you get it warmed up, you get it in your beard, day's going on, you're like, oh my God, what the hell? I grew up in an Irish Catholic household. You had a cold, you had crackers, you had, you know, flat soda or ginger ale, and you got coated from head to toe in va Vicks Vapor Rub. So I don't know if it's that time that causes that scent trigger and that scent flashback, but that's so why I said with this video, it's a true thing that scents are subjective. Product works great in beard. Don't get me wrong. Don't get it twisted. Works phenomenal. Makes my beard feel great. Like everything else I've said before with Alley Cat, you need to experiment and find that sweet spot for you. You cannot, I need to stress this repeatedly, 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 cannot use the same amount as you use with other companies. Okay? I've been there. Like when I first started my men's grooming journey and, you know, you got Cremo, you're using like 10 dropper tops full and your hands are slathered up with oil and it's spraying everywhere and you have that weird sweat stain in your shirt that's never ever going to come out because it's soaked through with beard oil. I've been there. All right. But still. All right. We're at the favorite part of the video for me and this one should be really, really interesting. Like I said, I'm not bashing Alley Cat. The time... It just, it doesn't work for me. So, I want to know your questions, comments, love, hatred, and anger. All that fun stuff down below. I, I really, truly can't wait for this one. It's going to be interesting. <coughs> you know, I want to know, have you used this one? Have you run into anything weird with time? Because, like I said, on the surface, oh yes, please. In instant home run. Oh, God, yes, please. Give me, give me, give me, give me, give me all the time. But that time, I just, I can't. I'm, I'm, I'm sorry. I, it's not for my beard. Now, with all that fun stuff being said, if it made you laugh, made you cringe, made you cry, made you do anything during this video, and I hope it wasn't blind hatred, <laughs> please give me a big old thumbs up. It's only going to show love and support for the channel, and that is always appreciated. But there we go, guys. My quick, weird look at Alley Cat Beard Co.'s Interrupted Combo. I hope all of you are having a great day today, a safe day today, and I look forward to seeing all of you in our very next video.